Good morning, fish heads. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and I am looking at a bunch of real pretty crappie over here at the, this is my second clear coat rack, the smaller one. And these are the only 10 of the entire bull shad lineup that I've got uh, that are sprayed that I'm going to be revealing. It's the only sneak peek you're going to get. This has got three layers on it. Spent a lot of time in detail. Good stenciling. Good hand painted detailing. It's got that ear flap on it. Only, but if you look at black crappie on a picture, uh, it is actually anatomically correct to have that little dot there. Pick up another one here for you. Just super, super pretty. Love all the colors that have blended on these. Just a whole bunch of fun. We've got a lot for you to see today. Let's get started. I have brought you guys back over to the finishing desk to finish up the rest of this segment here. I'm showing you guys as much as I can, um, doing the very best that I can. I guarantee you don't want to see me packing boxes on video. It's boring. It's boring for me. Um, have been kind of offloading a few crankbaits and cool stuff here and there. Uh, unloaded some split rings this morning online on Facebook and probably through everything that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the only other thing that's going to be going on is fish miss. Fish miss. That's right. We're going to do a big fish miss, not as big as a 10K giveaway, but some cool stuff happening on uh, on the Jekyll. And I will have that video up probably in the next week or so. I'm still going through patterns. Now, you guys saw the crappie um, for Bullshad. Those are the only ones you guys are going to see and reveal. Um, that's the only sneak peek. You know, he likes to keep everybody in suspense, and I don't blame him for it, but there's like another 180 baits that you guys are going to see for the winter-spring lineup, which is awesome for the trade shows and for drops, and I'm just super stoked at what's been happening here at Jekyll Baits, and we're doing everything that we can to get packed up so we can get this move done. Yada, yada. I'm in the weeds. This is one of four going to Judd. And Judd always sends me pictures of the stuff that he wants on patterns. Um, the gremlins that I got had just a couple of blemishes, not too bad. Um, but you can see, like in, in this one right here, you can see the paint spray caught on an old drip. So there's, a, unfortunately, there's, it's not enough to really even sand down, but you can kind of see it in the marking there with that, that purple coming down from top when I shot the top of the bait did kind of hit. So there are a couple of little tiny drips that were on here um, before I got a hold of the bait. You can see another one there that I was just able to like spray this yellow and gold from the bottom. But not too bad. Not too bad. Um, these gremlins are great little baits and I love painting them. This is that plum, some opaque sky blue. It is a brand pattern that I kind of put my own spin on beautiful copper gold mix in the pearlescent colors it's got that flash and pop to it and the the pattern itself the brand pattern is almost like a cross between a gill and a shad because it's got that black gill dot and that is a freehand dot folks we also have this really cool one now this is like a goldish yellow with fluorescent orange random striping into a black but look at when my favorite part of this um, aside from the cool pattern itself is how that gold kind of fades up and gets a little bit reddish as it goes into this top black back just pearls are just some of my favorite to paint and use just because they've got that super awesome flash also have this little guy And he had asked the, the last two are my own patterns that I've had on the website. And, and again, when I say patterns, I say that loosely. Stuff that I've had on my website for a while, but it's stuff that is... Okay, so when you're like talking about taking somebody's idea and plagiarizing it, 
this kind of stuff, these are just colors. It's just paint. There's a million shad out there. There's a, a million different types of bait that have red under the gills. So I wouldn't say that this would be any kind of a pattern that would be plagiarizable because it's just such a common pattern. But when you get into stuff that's technical, um, like the riveting is the first thing that comes to mind that that people are really starting to get their hands on and do, which is cool as long as you credit people. And I'm pretty sure I captured that in the last video. And again, stuff like this. This is These are just four significant colors. And then I'm sure everybody has a comb in their repertoire. But this has been on the website for a while. Uh, one of my favorite patterns to do. It's bright, bold, delicious pattern. And one of my faves. And if you have stained water conditions, you really want to put the hammer down on them. This is certainly just a two-tone green into moss green. Just a little bit of that detail black magenta. This is a Maui blue. And that red, so it's, I think it's a sunset red. And then just some trim, some accents on it. Real eyes from Lower Parts Online. Just fun, 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 fun. And like I was saying, there's, there were a couple of blemishes on some of these baits. One of them had some sort of ink or dye that was just kind of random splattered all over, and that took forever to prime back out because um, it just kept bleeding through and bleeding through and bleeding through. Some things that people paint with are not meant to be painted with and then painted over because they just continually bleed, which means that they're not waterproof inks. Um, India ink is waterproof, but it will, it's, it's like a Sharpie. Um, it'll continue to bleed up through the next layers when you try and repaint the bait. So that's just a little food for thought there. But that, that was a really cool four pattern um, order for Judd that I, I like making stuff for him. He's just real laid back and super cool guy to work with. This is one of four pieces for Shane McClanahan and he asked for it. Now, I've seen a few of these floating around the internet, these hammerheads. I have not personally swam them. No idea what they swim like. Um, but in order to get like a, a shark type skin looking like this, there's about four colors and you can probably see a little bit of the blue in here. But there's two tones of gray. There's silver in this. There's a little bit of um, Payne's gray up to a pearl smoked black. So there's a lot more going on than just shooting gray and covering it with some, some um, Comart pearlescent. And he asked for bloody, so we gave him bloody. This is a cool little hammerhead. Lots of fun doing this, and his other pieces are over on the clear coat rack um, on the other side of the room. And I think these eyes are 4.5, somewhere in there. Under a 5. They're not, they're not 5 mil. They're smaller than a 5. want to say it's a 4.5. couple of pieces for George. I think George Albano. Albano, I'm hoping I'm not slaying your last name. But for George, a striper in a baby bowl. And that summer, that beautiful summer gill. Lots of detailing. And they are, these are now available in, um, in bull gill and bull shad on the website. The only part of the website I've left up simply because I do not have the time to take on additional ordering for crankbaits. I'm trying to thin the herd as far as the crankbait orders go, but I will still do them on special requests. Just unfortunately not at the moment while I'm moving. And for all of you that have bull shad orders with me, like I said in the last couple of videos, everything that's been ordered up until the last video that I said that I was cutting off is going to be 100% painted and shipped by Christmas, which brings me to these little guys. A 10 limit was the 5 in this, in the bull gill, and 5 in the bull shad. Um, waiting on my order from Carl's to get here so that I can paint. Yes, they're numbered. This is 1 of 10. So the bull gills are going to be 1 through 5 of 10, and then the bull shads are going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 of 10. Only did 10 of these, only doing 10 of these. These will be to your door by Christmas. Love the Hulk. I think the Hulk is my favorite of the Storm series. It's just so three-dimensional. It really looks like that paint is coming off that bait. And those 
beautiful fluorescent green eyes. Just tons and tons and tons of fun. Dogs are going to bark and we're going to let them. This is a five piece. Is that Kansas City Craw? Part of an existing order. Going out local. I do a lot more business worldwide, countrywide, than I do here in Arkansas, which is a shame. I love my Arkies. Um, this is going out to, uh, to some local sourced folks. And there are five of them. So there are the beautiful Casey Craws. And bringing up the rear, this is probably one of the most fun patterns I've done to date. Just absolutely had a blast, no pun intended. Um, making Jailbreak Jerry. Um, Jailbreak Jerry, I happened to be walking past the TV one morning and there was a Tom and Jerry skit on, I don't even know what channel, Nickelodeon maybe, I'm not even sure. But I happened to see jerry the mouse and, and a little jumpsuit and i'm like well that would be cool because when chloe gave me this bait a couple of months ago um she's like you know I, I just i don't want plain i want something new something exotic give me a different design so this is what we came up with and i am very stoked that the uh the whiskers look 3d like they're coming off the bait real happy with how my fur turned out also three-dimensional just just happy all the way around with how this came out. It looks very, very 3D with the shadowing. And then I did the fur coming out of this, uh, kind, kind of tossed over the collar here on this jumpsuit, which is something else that I hadn't tried to do before, but I like, I kind of like how that came out too. And then we've got the buttons on the prison jumpsuit, and he's got a number. He's 814-609. 814-609 is his number. So, that is all the news that's fit to print. Thanks for hanging out with me on the channel this morning. I'm trying to get as many of these updates to you as I can. My sincere apologies if I'm not able to do as much as I can right now. Oh, yeah, and we put that. This is I hand-painted this little uh this little bomb on here blowing up because he's trying to break out of jail who could blame him nobody wants to be in prison i will see you guys on the next video i gotta get back to spraying cheers and happy casting from jekyll bates